Hey guys, this is Ishmael Lamti. Starting an online business requires a lot of time and effort. However, there are a couple of things you can implement that will give you the results you want. In today's video, I intend sharing with you five tips that you can try. These are tips I've personally tried that would help you or give you the results you want. So without talking further, let's go ahead and get into the video. Now the first on the list has to do with building trust on the internet. Now building trust has been something I have spoken about you know, a couple of times and this happens to be a very essential part of the entire online process. The reason is because people don't who you might be selling your services or products to may not be people who might know you to be able to know that you're actually a trustworthy person. So therefore, there should be something you should be able to do for them to understand or know that this person is actually a trustworthy person or this business is a trustworthy one. So this boils back to you being able to offer something for free, maybe um, that is if you can afford or sometimes even going about sharing knowledge in terms of um, YouTube um, videos, in terms of writing articles, in terms of tutorials that people can actually learn from. Once you start doing that, this actually builds some sort of trust between those people and you and then in case they want to you know go beyond just learning from you and probably buy from you they can go ahead and buy from you so that is one of the um, things you have to try as much as possible to be able to implement when you have your business online that is building trust the next thing has to do with you being responsive now this is a very important part in the sense that being responsive has to do with you trying your possible best to be able to respond to inquiries, um, respond to emails, questions, and so on, on time. Now, this is one thing I do a lot and I actually get a lot of positive feedback on that in terms of once I see a client who sends an email, maybe trying to find out this and that, I respond, you know, at a very fast time. That is if I have actually seen it. And once you respond, you actually let them know, oh, wow, that's very fast. So you create some sort of reliance that this person is actually a reliable person because you're actually responding on time. I know you and I don't want to be kept waiting for whether information, whether resources or whatever it is. So then when you're able to, you know, beat the, you know, whatever time it probably take for you to respond to emails or whatever inquiries it is, you are able to develop, you know, some good relationship with your, um, your potential customers or your customers who tend to trust you, you know, which is the first one you're looking at and then would want to be working with you because you're actually giving them, you know, the necessary time that they, they, they probably may not be getting elsewhere. So that's the second one that is being very responsive. Now, the next thing you should also be looking at has to do with you being able to find a way to collect your contact or contact details of potential clients or your client. Now, this helps in a sense that whenever you have new offers in terms of products, in terms of services, you can actually reach out to these people maybe through a newsletter. So there's MailChimp, which is a free um, tool you can use in doing that, that you can send out newsletters about whatever product or promos or offers that you're offering on your um, in your business so that these people get to see them and then if they want to take any action, they come back to your business and then do those necessary um, purchases or others. The fourth tip has to do with you requesting for feedback from your clients. So the people you've had a chance to serve before, once in a while, it is good for you to request for your feedback on how the process was how the service you offered them or the products they purchased from you was so that it gives you a clear idea of how your customers feel about your business or how your customers feel about whatever you're offering whenever you do that you're able to take in feedback and then make improvements on things that has to be improved in your business and this can go in a very long way to help your business i hope you get that so this has to do with you trying your possible best to take feedback from your customers now my final tip which has to be tip number five has to do with you building content around your business now this is a very um you know cool part that i have personally tried in over the years and it's really worked out for me in terms of building content in terms of um, you know video content it could be text content it could be audio podcast so if you are looking at audio you are looking at podcast if you are looking at video it could be a youtube video or something like this and people are able to maybe get more idea about whatever you are offering whatever 
you are providing it could be a tutorial which is teaching people it goes in a long way to build trust it could be um, a blog article about something you think about something you believe in how something can be done and the rest and once you start building content it also makes it easier to drive traffic to your website that is if you have some or to your social media page that you are using it could be instagram it could be facebook that you're actually using to sell your services and products so these are five tips that i have shared in this particular video building trust online build and being responsive um, taking in feedback taking in customers um, contact details that you can actually reach out to them on and then finally building content around your product or services so that is just about it for this video in case you are new to this channel kindly go ahead and then hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it. So once again, my name is Eshmalamte. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.